this is a reality that you know for now take mm-hmm. it out of your cv because you will be told you are overqualified <laughs> Yes. Check out all your masters and the doctor, your doctorates. If you want just a dollar to pay your bills, just go in with your, your overalls and your t-shirts. And then later on in life, that's when you say, oh, by the way, I also have a master's degree. Oh, and the doctorate and all this. Yes, <laughs> then, absolutely. Because yeah. I know what sort happened to my husband, the company where I was doing this manual job. And then there was just this uh, manager who was very interested in what he was doing. Upon just uh, asking him what he used to do back home, and then, and then she was following what she was doing. Immediately, he graduated. They offered him a job as an accountant from literally doing manual jobs at that company. Overnight, he was given a job as a managerial accountant. So, you know, things change. Things, things change. That's the thing, Agnes. Things change. We um, it's just staying as flexible and as, I guess, positive, not positive, but faithful I guess keeping faith Faith. and keeping faith in ourselves and um, in the opportunities and things working out and having patience and doing our best because we can't control everything that's out of our control exactly we can control the best we can ourselves you know it's just navigating through life journey to our best ability and uh and enjoying it, right? Yeah. So doing our best. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was just about to ask you, like, what, what advice do you have for, for, for people like you and me who migrated to this country? Right there, you've said it. So, yes. yeah. And it, that's right. We, we don't have assurance or any guarantee that things will turn out exactly what we want them to be. And, um, or maybe yes. some, sometimes we need to manage also our expectations and the stories that we play out in our wonderful minds. That yeah. Maybe <laughs> making things very difficult for ourselves.